Hey guys, it's me again. Uh, I just wanted to make a video this evening. <laughs> um, I've not been home too long. Hope I can post it. My internet's been acting up. I've not got to take a shower or anything yet. I wanted to get this done because I've been wanting to do it, but every night by the time I get out of the shower and you know how you'll do, you kind of get comfortable and you get tired and sleepy and I've not done it. So I said, well, I'm going to do it tonight. Uh, I'm wanting to show you guys uh, a holster. Actually, I bought two of them. It's a brand of holster that I bought. And uh, I had never heard of this brand before. And actually, my friend that owns the gun store that I bought it at had never heard of them. And he just ordered them, kind of seeing what they were like. And I was wanting to show you guys these holsters. And they seem to be really, really good holsters. Now, I've been, I've just been wearing them around here like of the evenings. Uh, I, I've just been putting them on, putting my gun, my, my couple different guns in them. I've been uh, wearing it around here like when I go shooting. You know, like if, I, if I'm going to set me a target up, I, I did it over the weekend and just go out here and shoot, you know. I, I want to have my gun. I'd rather have it on my hip just have to lay it on the, you know, the hood of a truck or lay it on a lawnmower seat or something like that, you know, to, uh, to shoot off of. Um, so I've been, I've not got my concealed carry permit back yet. I, I applied for it and uh, just not heard back from them yet. Everybody says that takes a while, and I've only had it out probably three weeks or right out of a month. So, um, but anyway, I've been wearing them, like I said, just to the evenings, just to kind of get used to them. And uh, and I wanted to show you. Uh, like I said, I've not got a whole lot of experience with them, but you know, I think enough to tell you what I think about them. So anyway, here we go, guys. Um, right here is the brand, as you can see here. It says ITAC Defense. Retention Roto Paddle Holster. And here they are. Now, uh, this one on the left is for a Glock 26 or 27. And the one on the right here, I bought this is for my Smith & Wesson M&P 40. Uh, but to compare, guys, right here is a Blackhawk. This is a uh, CQC uh, Serpa uh, Paddle Holster. I think they call it a Sportster. And I actually bought this for my SIG uh, 220 for my Equinox. But as you guys can see, look how much bigger the paddle is. And, you know, in some situations, I guess this is better. And maybe, for, you know, where this is for the heavier gun, maybe that'll be better. But you see how much bigger the paddle is than on these? Now, I'm sure that'll hold the gun more stable, especially if you've got a big heavy gun, like a 1911 or something, or, or the 220, you know, it's a pretty big gun. But I actually like the smaller paddles on these holsters because they're easier, they're just easier to fool with. They're easier to get down in your pants. You know, if you're not going to use a belt, uh, they go between your belt loops easy. And the retention on these guys, this is what blew me away. Uh, the re you know, they, they, of course, like I said, they're all Serpa. These are the Serpa style holster too. You know, I don't know if they don't call it Serpa, but, you know, it's got the lock on it right here. And the guys, the retention... The way these hold a gun, a matter of fact, we'll go over here to my safe. There's my safe. Turn away. Don't you guys can look into my closet while I'm <laughs> punching my code in. Uh, let's see. Let me get my Glock 27 out here. We'll do it. Okay. Okay, so guys, here I'm back. And this gun has been. I'll, I'll empty the magazine on it for you and show you. Nothing up in it. You just have to take my word for it. It's been safety checked. I checked it while ago before I got it out. Okay, now listen to this click, guys. Well, <laughs> it actually didn't do it real good that time, but... Yeah, anyway, guys, you can't really hear it, but this thing is just... It is solid. I mean, it... It actually, this holster locks this gun and the, and the same deal with this holster with the M&P 40. It locks the gun in a lot better than this Blackhawk holster does. Now, do I like the Blackhawk holster? Yeah, I do. I like it a lot. I don't have anything wrong with it. Like I said, the paddle's a little big on it, but now the thing I do like about this holster better, it has got the adjustable hooks on the back, as you can see here. There's one and there's one. 
for your belt if you're going to use a belt instead of just sticking it in your pants and these you can also use a belt on but as you can see here it's not adjustable so uh, if you're going to just use a belt I like this Blackhawk holster a little better but guys these I'm telling you these iTech holsters look I mean they're just they grab so good there's no movement there's no slop I mean there's just uh, I really like them I really do so you know I'm just kind of that they seem to be built really good. They say they're made in the USA. I'm pretty sure they say that on them. <laughs> and, uh, but anyway, guys, I just want to show you guys. And as you can see here, I'll, let me see. I'll, see, you just, it's hard to do this one handed, as, as you guys know, but, uh, they're really good quality. I don't, you know, uh, I don't know what type of plastic they are. I've been looking on the, uh, the, uh, paper that came with them and it don't say. I don't know if they're Kydex. Uh, no, actually, guys, I'm sorry. It says made in Israel. I don't know if you can see it right there. So that's good. You know, all Israeli made stuff that I've ever fooled with have been real good stuff. So, uh, anyway, I, I take that back. They're made in Israel, not in the United States. So that's just as good, though. But anyway, guys, right here, again, I'll show you. I tack. Defense, retention, paddle holster. Like I said, you know, you guys may, may have seen them for years, you know, but I just never have. And uh, like I said, this one fits the Glock 26 and 27. And right here's what I paid for it. Now, they may be a little higher. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see that, but $20.99 is what I gave for it. And like I said, I bought two of them plus the uh, Blackhawk holster. This one right here for my uh, 220 Equinox. But uh, I'll tell you what I'll do. I, just for reference, I'll show you that, guys. I'll show you the, uh, <clears throat> of course, here it is. Here's the Equinox. Woohoo! But uh, just for reference, you know, it, it fits good and, and does good. But uh, <laughs> anyway, guys, forgive my lame cameramanship, but. You know, it does good, but like I said, these iTech coasters, guys, especially for the price, man, you can't beat them. You really can't. But anyway, there's my pretty gun. But here you go, guys. iTech, like I said, check them out. See if, uh, you know, your gun dealer or whoever uh, has them. They're, they seem to be really good holsters, you know, like I said, from what I've used them. But anyway, guys, I thank you for watching this. And uh, probably in the next little bit, I'm going to do maybe... A review on my Ruger SR556, my AR, um, and uh, some other stuff maybe. We'll see. But anyway, guys, thanks. I don't want this to be too long. It'll take all night to upload it anyway. See you guys. Bye.